I'm so excited. I've never done one. <laughs> Ever. Hey guys, what is up? It is Sid and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so, so excited. Like, not even kidding, I'm so excited to do a question and answer video or a Q&A. Lately, I have been binge watching Q&As like crazy. I don't know, something about talking to the camera is just so fun for me and I think watching other people's are just so much fun. They're just such a raw and real type of video, if you know what I mean. I don't know, I love watching them. And I'm really excited to make my own. The questions that I'm going to be answering are actually pulled from my Instagram. If you follow me, you'd know that I posted a picture and I asked you guys to ask me questions. If you missed out on this Q&A, do not worry because I'm sure that I'll be having more in the future, so just make sure to follow my Instagram. I will have it linked down below. I also might do a Snapchat Q&A sometime. My Snapchat is sydneyserena.p, so feel free to add me. Okay, so that is pretty much all I have to say. Let's just get into the Q&A. Diana asks, what is your favorite part about being a YouTuber? There are so many things that I love about YouTube. It's so hard. Honestly, I think my favorite part is literally like uploading the video or posting the content that I'm posting and seeing your guys' reactions because sometimes you guys like surprise me and I just love how excited you guys get when I post. I think it's so cute. So probably seeing your guys' reactions to my posts. Laben, Labine, I don't know how to say her name, I'm sorry. She asks, why did you become a YouTuber? And I became a YouTuber just because I saw lots of other people posting videos and I was about 13. Sydney asks, what is your favorite piece of clothing to wear? I love you so much. I love you too. Also, I love your name. I love how you spell it. Lately, my favorite clothing pieces have been these off-the-shoulder tops. I think they're really cute and they're definitely trending. This is actually a dress. I really like high-waisted jeans and stuff also. I like the ripped and distressed look. I'm definitely a girly girl, so anything floral or flowy or elegant, that's that's my style. Oh my gosh, okay, another Sydney asked a question. What are some of your favorite places to shop? I have a lot of places that I like to shop. Okay, that made no sense. I shop like all the time. I literally just went to the mall this morning and it's a Wednesday. But right now my number one place is probably Forever 21. The Mall of America actually has a huge Forever 21. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but it's literally two stories. It's so awesome. And I like Forever 21 because they have super cute clothing, but it's very affordable. Some of their stuff is kind of weird though, but I also really like PacSun. The Kendall and Kylie collection is amazing. I think this is from their collection. I don't know. I really like Kendall Jenner's style, which kind of gravitated me towards their collection in the first place. Her style is like my style. Michaela asked what my favorite hairstyle is to wear on myself, and this is a really interesting question. I thought about this one for a long time. I think... I think my favorite hairstyle would have to be the Dutch braid, and it's just like a one-sided Dutch braid. I've worn it all the time. I'll insert a picture. I like that hairstyle because it is really easy. I don't know if it is just easy for me because I've like done it a ton. Practicing seriously makes perfect for braiding and stuff like that, so I've definitely done that braid like the most out of any braid. So I can do it in like two minutes now. It's really fast, but it always turns out super pretty, and it looks super pretty when you pancake the braid also. So I really like that one, and I like it for second hair so I, I wear that one all the time but I also have been loving the crown braid or like the halo braid that goes all around your head I've just been so into braiding recently and one of my new year's resolutions this year was actually to become a better braider really weird I know most people have way different new year's resolutions but I thought that would be a fun one Isabel asked what my favorite makeup brand is and I don't really have a favorite to be honest I really like the drugstore though I tend to just get all my makeup from the drugstore but I know my favorite makeup product ever is is the CoverGirl Lash Bloom Mascara. That's an amazing one. Definitely try it if you run out of your mascara. Shadu, sh Shadu, I'm not, I'm not sure how to say that, asks, if I wasn't a YouTuber, what would I be? I'm not sure if most of you guys know this, but YouTube isn't necessarily my job. I do have an actual nanny job that I do, and I'm still only 16, which is actually a really frequently asked question. So I'm still in school. I actually do college work, if you didn't know that. So I'm constantly doing homework, working. I love making videos. Videos. It is so much fun. I don't think I'll ever stop making videos. If I weren't doing YouTube, I would probably be either in dance or gymnastics. I used to do gymnastics actually really competitively for a while, but I ended up getting hurt a lot and my body just was not meant for the sport, so my doctor and my parents recommended that I stop it. So probably one of those things. Gemma asks, which famous YouTuber would I like to collab with? First of all, love your name. You guys have like the best names. 
things. I don't know if it's just me, but honestly, I binge watch tons of different YouTubers. Like, I binge watch a YouTuber for like a month and then go to another one and watch all of their videos. So right now, I'm actually binge watching Kayla Nicholson. I've been subscribed to her for years and I love her videos. But lately, kind of like where I'm at in life right now, I just really connect with her. I really like the types of videos that she makes because they're all about self-betterment, like bettering yourself and self-discovery and stuff like that, which is kind of the things that I have been interested in lately. But just all about bettering yourself and becoming a better person and better habits to be making. So I've been resonating with her a lot and I have been watching her videos. So I guess her, but I don't know if I could really choose. Kylie asks, what my favorite song is at the moment? I hands down love the song Paris by the Chainsmokers. So good. But another song that I've also been loving is by Selena Gomez. It's called It Ain't Me and I think it's so good. I've also been loving Rockabye and Shape of You, so those are some of my favorite songs at the moment. I pretty much just go with like the trending songs, I'm not very original. London asks, where would I like to visit? Well, oh my gosh, where would I like to visit? That's such a hard question because there are so many places to visit on my bucket list. I would really like to go to Paris actually, I've always wanted to go there. I would also love to go to Mexico and Cuba and the Philippines and all those warm areas. I seriously I honestly hate the cold weather, so definitely somewhere warm. Actually, this Friday we are literally getting a foot of snow. Hopefully they're wrong because I'm not ready for that. I, I just, I hate the cold. Ella asks where I would like to live when I'm older, and this is a very good question because I've been thinking about this so much. Actually, I would really love to live in California. The weather there seems way nicer than Minnesota. This is the part of the video where you're going to understand the title because I'm actually going to VidCon. I'm so excited to finally announce that to you guys because I've been waiting for forever. I think it's June 21st through the 24th. It's at the Anaheim Convention Center in California, so I am so excited. Let me know in the comments if any of you are going because I would love to meet you guys. I think it'd be so fun to connect with you guys, so let me know if you're going. I really hope that we can meet up when we are there. I'll definitely let you guys know on my Instagram or on my channel if anything comes up, like if I'm going to meet you guys at a certain place or something like that. But for now, just let me know if you're going. So Moya asks, can you please tell us about your family? So just a brief overview of my family. I have an older brother, Ryan, a younger brother, Ashton, and then my parents. So basically I'm the only girl besides my mom. I like being the only girl though. It's kind of cool. I mean, I want a sister at the same time, but here, I don't know if I said that right, asks what my favorite food is. My favorite food food would have to be chocolate. I know it's probably not a food. It's like a candy, but it is definitely my guilty pleasure. I love it. But my favorite like healthy food would definitely be acai bowls. They are so good. I know they're really trendy, but they're so good, especially the ones from Jamba Juice. Oh my gosh. Dang it. Now I'm craving an acai bowl from Jamba Juice. Beth Lover number one asks, who do I look up to? I don't really look up to anyone in particular. I really just admire the positive people in my life and I try to surround myself with positive people. I think it's so important to surround yourself with positive people because the negative people can just bring you down. Pick to surround yourself with people who will bring you up rather than bring you down and trust me it will make your life so much better. Amy asks who my favorite singer is. Definitely Selena Gomez. Like hands down. So that is all for the q and A. I I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so grateful that I was able to do this. Like, thank you guys for asking so many questions. I definitely am going to be doing another Q&A in the future. So again, make sure to follow my Instagram, add me on Snapchat. So that way you guys know when I do my next Q&A so you can ask questions also. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I love you to the moon and back and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, <laughs> wait. Don't forget to let me know if you're going to VidCon. I want to know. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. You were staying in Paris.